about that, okay? Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I'll do that as I go. Um, so, here's the first leader. But nothing's happening there because the VTA is down. So, maybe the pulse of uh, the first is Two. As you can tell, they like have a sync thing, so because the guy is way up, so you hear it. Right here. Um, so this is oscillator two going in the filter there, and the filter is controlled by the stem trigger. By the trigger of the drum trigger, or by the CV out, it could be too, it doesn't really work as well. I kind of like the trigger better. Um, and there's my LFO here that could control the filter. That's nice. Um, and here's my envelope generator. So, that's faster, but then it could be longer. I can also show you right here, right here. That's all going to be cut off right now. And that's it. So, a little bit of everything at the same time would be... as I am. sequencers and the drum trigger and like this is like the whole thing and so <coughs> that's that uh, it's more technical but as you can see you have like like all the, the audio signals mm -hmm. that are patchable like at the top and all the control voltages are like down here and that's that and this is like another input because it's the, the drum trigger so you could try something different than contact mic 
open it. So the other side, though, it is openable, um, so that you can like get right into it to repair it really easily, huh? Yeah. Which I did uh, the other day because I added extra CV inputs instead of having one. I have two of each, so I went back to the board and installed like a couple extra components to have like two outputs here and then two inputs here and two here. And it works. I'm happy. That's a good one. It's like a metal one, like super solid. Well, it's like it's really stable and bulky, but it's not. Thank you.